Hi, this is Joe Lou. I'm sharing something fun with you. Okay, this of course you can see is a fashion styling head. And she's got colorful hair. Uh, she didn't come like this. Okay. She didn't come like this. Uh, and she wasn't real expensive. And she's really pretty. I think she's pretty. Okay. But she's pretty because I made her up. Um, she's actually, uh, I'm putting the box in front of you. Toy fashion styling, toy amazing. Okay. Toy amazing. And was only $5. Okay, comes with the styling head, one comb, one hair curlers, two hair roller, two hair extensions, and eight hair clips. So I took that off. I took it off. I took the, she came with the braid and everything, and and she didn't have any makeup on. Nope, nope, no makeup. And I did it with watercolors, watercolors, Crayola watercolors for her hair. Okay, and um, I used um, another cheap um black color for her eyes and crayola for her cheeks and some metallic for her lips okay um so i did her makeup and her hair with watercolor we rinse it out and start all over again don't don't get the hair too wet to drip down on everything um do the hair first then do the makeup so I'm just bringing her up close so you can see I made those eyes. Look how pretty she is. Copper kind of gold lips. Isn't she pretty? She did not come like this. Okay. I When, you, when I put the blush on and stuff, I, I put the blush on with my fingers. Uh, I dabbed it with a little bit of um, paper towel. And then I put the blush on with my fingers because um, it didn't. It didn't go well when I did the brush. Um, you have to have the right consistency. Okay. Um, you don't want it to be all watery. It's not all, not all watercolors work that great, but, um, you have to find the right consistency, not too much water, not too dry. Okay. But you make adjustments. You have to play with it, but the hair doing the hair is the easiest. Okay. That is easy. The lips were really easy too. The eyes took some time because I, you know, wanted to detail the, the eyes. Look at her. She looks like a Disney character. Okay. I mean, really pretty. If you've seen her in the box, you, I probably have a picture of her somewhere when she was playing, you know, um, you would just be amazing how, how different she looks. So anyway, if you make mistake, you just dip it in water like the Q-tip here. Okay. There's like a little green dot there. I just did that a little while ago. Just dab it, dab it. Um, use a piece of napkin. I already used the napkin on, on her body. Cause I'm going to make her into a mermaid. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep the color. Uh, cause I can just rinse it out. It's water. Rinse out everything, but I don't want her makeup to get ruined. I'm probably going to add to her makeup to make her more, you know, mermaidish. Anyway, um, that was my fun tip. I just decided, you know, it'd be cheaper, uh, for someone and they can, uh, these watercolors last a long time and, and get a big variety. You can make her hair darker, lighter, several colors. Um, I advise having some white. Because, you know, I use some whiteness and, um, you know, to make it a little bit pinkier. And if you add more, of course, you're going to get more pink, right? So you mix up the colors and you learn as you go. And around her neck here, you know, that was a bracelet. So I use it as a necklace. But I really love the lips. I really love the metallic lips. I love the way the eyes came out. Oh, she looks really, really pretty. Right? Pretty. Okay. Clip the hair in the back. Take sections if you have it. You know, she comes with hair clips, but I just use one big one just to keep, because you don't want it spreading out all over, right? You don't want to get it all, all over the place, you know? Um, the reason why this camera is getting knocked is because I have to put it down low. Okay. 
because you know she's a styling head i could i could have lifted her up maybe on a book or something i don't know um but that's the way she sits so i had to bring the camera down low and so i bang it once in a while i don't like that because it's annoying and i know i'm pretty sure you don't like it either <laughs> oh anyway okay so um i'm just gonna show you um i'm gonna get a brush show you a little bit okay so we did a little blue there right uh, i i finished the blue up a little bit and just show you what it looks like when i add color a little dab a little dab of water a little dab of color don't want it running you definitely want to do the hair first then the makeup definitely definitely don't want to get it wet put a little bit of conditioner in the hair soften it up after it dries of course it's going to be a little stiff it's not that bad okay but you know a little bit of conditioner in it okay now i'm right now i'm using the I, i've got the blue i'm i'm hoping i'm hoping i'm hoping i'm hoping i have too much water okay now i'm gonna move my arm so do you see that look at how cool that is can you see me doing it i can hold her a little bit like this and show you the top okay go a little darker if i want to all right a little darker i'm blocking out a little bit of the light i'm sorry yep i'm i'm just not a professional camera person get up underneath a little bit right let's do that get a little bit more paint okay i'm gonna lift her up a little bit so you can see dab dab now if you get any on her skin don't worry about it. Don't worry about it because it wipes off. And um, you can make it go down further. All right. So I'm just showing you how easy it is to put it on there. So easy. So easy. You can take her. If you want to, you can take the tip right here and even just put the tip blue. A little bit of blue on the tip. Just for fun. I mean, it's like for fun. Style it the way you want. I thought a little bit of pink with the, the tip. It's kind of cool, huh? Kind of cool. Right? Even if you have like, guess what? Like if you have a, a My Little Pony toy or something like that, they got hair. Try it on your other toys. Try it on like your My Little Ponies and your other toys that have hair type stuff. Yeah. Okay. So I thought I'd share that with you. And, um, you know, start over again. That's the great thing about it. And these watercolors, believe it or not, you don't think that they last long. They last, they, they, they give you a lot. They really do. I mean, so it's not like you have to keep on going out and buying the stuff, but it's just a way to make your, um, doll look pretty okay your fashion doll look pretty and it doesn't matter how old you are right does not matter art is art and styling makeup and hair is art no matter what anybody tells you five to 70 even it doesn't matter okay no one can tell you there's no rules in this life for that stuff anyway my cat just jumped up on the back of my couch. All right. Got to go now. Bye.